Hello, my name is Otto, and today I want to share with you some exciting enhancements to our AI-assisted chat feature here at Sourcegraph. With Sourcegraph 6.0, we are adding code search capabilities to chat. Now, when you interact with chat, whether it's in the IDE or on the web, we'll use intent detection to determine whether to return relevant code search results or an LLM response from your model of choice. Let's see it in action. Within my Sourcegraph instance, when I navigate to chat, I will see the new experience. If you have been using Kodi for some time, it may not seem all that different, but believe me, there is tons of new stuff under the hood. If we ask a general question in the Sourcegraph Kodi repo, like, how does Kodi do local code searches? I'll get an LLM response from my model of choice. And from reading the response, I've learned that the local search engine is called Simf. Now I can ask a follow-up question about SIMF and get an LLM response. But if I wanted to quickly navigate to where SIMF is implemented, I can do a keyword search for SIMF in the same chat experience and get search results that will take me precisely to where I want to go. So here I will type in SIMF. And in this case, we can see that intent detection selected a code search response here because I gave it a keyword. If I look at the results here, I can also refine the search by result type, language, repository, and more. Additionally, I can also use these search results as context to follow up queries. Let's do that next. I'll scroll to the bottom and see that the chat box already has all of the files selected as context. Now I can ask a follow up question to learn more about how SIMF works. Let's ask how does SIMF rank files? If I look in the bottom right corner, I'll see a chat icon. This means that intent detection has identified this as a chat query. I can click the drop down arrow to change it or manually select chat or code search. And in this case, since I do want a chat response, I will explicitly set it. When I execute this query, the LLM will generate a response using the files from the code search I first used and give me a high quality response telling me all of the ways that SIMF ranks files. Pretty cool, right? This experience fully carries over to your IDE of choice as well. If you are in the repo you are working in, and that is the one that you are conducting a code search for, you'll be able to open and edit the results then and there. So let's see an example of that. If I search for auth URL, I will get a series of results. And if I want to go and view and edit that file, I can simply open it up and make changes as such. But if I'm doing a code search in a remote repository, I'll still be able to open the files in my IDE, but they will be read only. So to show you an example of that, let's open up the remote repositories. Let's open up for sales next JS and let's say um, auth here. So we'll get some search results, but if we open them up, you will see a lock icon, meaning that this is a read only file and I cannot make any changes to it. So that is the new chat experience rolling out in Sourcegraph 6.0. It combines the best of code search and LLM chat to give you a single entry point to understanding, editing, and generating new code. Give it a try today and let us know what you think.